the uh, short half head margin would have been kept. So just about ready. And away they go. And Uncle Lino from the inside began nicely. 23 red is up there in the early stages. Perceptive miss not too far away. First growth is coming across. And so is Mr. Albi on the outside. Asher Lilly is one off the fence and running six. And then came Young Thor, followed by Kelly Secret, who's over on the inside. Out a little bit wider there is Star of Vegas as they race into the first turn and over the crossing now. Nakoni's boys in the middle. And down on the inside is Prince Hal, who's third from last. And the grey Carazoro is at the tail of the field. 15 hundred metres left to go and 23 red takes it up and leads by two. First growth is up running second and Uncle Lino is third on the inside. Then Perceptive Miss in the middle. Kelly Secret the inside of Mr. Olby is caught out three wide. Back behind them is Asher Lilly who's racing around about centre field. Prince Hal is over on the inside and Star of Vegas out wider. Well back Carazora. It's on the inside. The favourite Young Thor is back third last under a good hold and last of all is Nakoni's boy. They run down with about 1100 to go and out in front 20 23 red. It's clear by two. First growth is running second. Third on the inside is Uncle Lino. And then came Perceptive Miss, followed by Kelly Secret on the inside. Mr. Albee has always been out wider. Asher Lilly travels OK in about seventh place. Star of Vegas has been three deep the journey. Then Prince Hal, Young Thorne Oconee's boy. And Carazoro is back at the tail of the field. So still 23 red before the turn. 6.50 to go. And 23 red snuck away by a length and a half. Two first growth. Perceptive Miss is striding into third place on the inside is Uncle Lino. Mr. Albee's out wider. And then Kelly's Secret who drove up into about fifth place in the centre. Then Asher Lilly. And trying to get to the outside now. Mr. Albee's Deep Star of Vegas out very wide. Mr. Albee dropped off. Young Thor is trying to thread through the field. Nakoni's boy giving them a big start. 23 red though. Bounded clear at the 250. It's nicely out in front. Uh, starting to come through is Young Thor. Down the outside is Asher Lilly. But 23 red is well clear. Young Thor. Prince Howe the inside. Asher Lily's out wider, but 23 red has raced home to win comfortably. 23 red from Young Thor. I think Prince Hal on the inside third. Asher Lily is out very wide. And then Uncle Lino, followed by Perceptive Miss, and further back, Mr. Albee. Uh, first growth weakened, didn't stay the trip, and then came Kelly's secret. Nakoni's boy was back at the tail of the field. 23 red. Number seven is first at 9.30 and 2.90 for Young Thor at 1.80. And third is a photo. Prince Hal got up on the inside from near last. And Asher Lilly, who was coming down the middle, might have just been peaking slightly on the effort. And is in this photo for third. So seven beats four. And that's a strong front-running performance. Reese Radford and Craig Staples combining again. And uh, 23 red in the all-blue colours with the white shark. Now... Eights run third on the outside, please note. Asha Lilly. Do that angle's handy. Number eight, Asha Lilly out wide. Has nailed third. Seven, four and eight. And uh, number 12, back on the inside, was uh, Prince Howe. So 9.30, 2.90 the winner. 182nd, Asha Lilly at uh, 5.80 for the place. And we're waiting on fourth. I'm pretty sure Prince Hal on the inside, but nothing's gone up just yet. Just the first three numbers. So let's go downstairs. 23 red, Reese Radford scoring a good win. And the form line was nice through a Drink the Rainbow, who won, the, won at Northam on Sunday. So 23 red makes it two wins and two placings from its last five runs. Thanks very much, Richie. Reese. when you think about this horse, it wasn't all that long ago that I remember at Pinjarra and he was being all sorts of a handful. How much has he improved in terms of his maturity to today? Um, well, to be honest, he's still a handful. Um, well, we can get him out and race it now, so that's, that's the main thing. Um, he's learning, he keeps improving, so hopefully he keeps going. When he won his maiden, were you expecting to be able to come out so soon and be able to put another one on the board? Uh, yeah, he's, he's still been working good. Uh, I was a little bit shocked when he went to the front. Um, how easy he seemed to do it, yeah. He did, and Craig Sables was able to set him a, a nice, strong tempo, and he just never looked in doubt. Yeah, well, if, if you're going to ride a lead, he's the man to have on. So, uh, no, um, all very good today, yeah. What do you see as his trip? Is, is this the 20, 2,000, 2,200, that sort of trip? Is that his best? I, I think so, yeah. Um, I don't know how far he'll go. Uh, just even uh, attitude and stuff. Well, he's got to tune in himself. But um, oh, he's got that also, yeah.
Well, you go grab him, otherwise we know he can be a handful. So uh, doing the strapping duties as well uh, is Reese Ratford and the horse coming back now. Uh, and we'll have a chat with Craig Staples in just a moment. But uh, it's been a, a, a big progression for this horse because uh, even though Reese mentioning that he is, can still be a handful, there were times that he was very difficult to even get out of the mounting yard. And he's uh, come a long, long way and in, in, into a stayer now that is able to lead a race up like that. And we say how hard it is to step up from maiden grade to win a handicap. Well, he's done more than that. He's won a maiden at Northern. He's come to town here and won a class three against horses who were racing in decent races on a Saturday a couple of weeks ago. So it's a really, really good performance. It does appear that the, tw uh, the 2,000 on the 2200 metres, that type of trip on speed seems to be his go. And as Reese touched upon, I mean, they've had great success, these two blokes together with great shot. And if you want to be on a leader, Craig Staples, he's pretty good at it. He certainly is, has uh, plenty of practice out in front and uh, a great front running rider is Craig and uh, the horse just being taken away now by Reese Radford and Craig, well, hasn't this horse come of age? It put two wins on the board now. Yeah, no, he's a bit of a finicky type. Um, obviously, didn't come out of the man enclosure one day with me. Um, but Paddy Carberry, actually, I've got to give credit to him. He, he looked at it, one of its runs early on and said, put a shadow roll on him. He said, I think it'll help him. And uh, he's come out and done really well since. It's incredible how just a small piece of gear can, can make a change in a horse like this. Today, was your intention always to find the front? Um, no, not really. I, Warren wasn't there to give me instructions, so I was a bit lost. Um, but, uh, look, uh, you know, he's been on speed. He's outside the leader. First time over the distance last time went really well. So um, today I had no real uh, plan just to let the horse be happy. Did he just seem like he was travelling really strongly out in front? Yeah, well, you know, it was a fair gap between me and the horses behind me, and I, I thought I was having it pretty easy. So he seemed to be doing comfortably, and he raced like it. Well, congratulations on the win. Thank you, Brittany. Craig Staples there, combining with Reese Radford, put, put two wins in a row for 23 red.